Hello everybody, this is the American Developer here. Today we're going to install Ruby and also the dev kit which will enable Windows users specifically to be able to use the gem command within the command line so they can install additional libraries and modules. Alright, let's get started. So I'm just going to do a, a search for Ruby download for Windows. And I'm using Windows 10, so for those who are using Windows 10 as well, this will benefit you at most, but this would work for any Windows users in general. So it looks like I already have this clicked on here. So I go to download. And for me, I'm going to use 64-bit because that's what my operating system is. If you want to find out what um, type of operating system you have, I would suggest going to your file explorer. You can probably do it here as well. Yeah. You can click here and then you can right click this PC and go to properties. And then right here it'll tell you if it's 64 or 32 bit. So in my case, I'm going to download this version with 64 bit. It's downloading, and I think I already have one downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and start installing. That's what I would suggest doing. And go through the wizard that installs it. And this is very important. Make sure to check all these boxes here. Because if you don't add Ruby executables to your path, you, you might be missing a couple of commands. And then you might have to redo the process or have to look up another instructional video of how to add Ruby to your path. So for me, I already have it installed, but it'll install to that if you choose what I chose. Now while this is downloading, we can go ahead and start getting the dev kit. And for here, this is, since I have 2.3.1, I want to use this one actually for 64 bit. So you would download this. This is a zip file. This will enable you to use Gem and other features of Ruby. Alright, so once this is done, first thing I'm going to do is make sure that Ruby is added to path. <clears throat> So here's the version check, and it looks like I do have Ruby installed. Now let's check Jim. Let's, do, let's install a package just to see. Because there were some problems I had when I first installed Ruby on here that you may run into as well. So for me, it looks like it's working. So my dev kit is already set up correctly. But if you want to get your dev kit going, download this. Then you go to your downloads. That's where I have it. And let's go ahead and add this to a folder somewhere. I'm going to create a new folder and it's going to be called dev kit test and I'm going to go ahead and move this here open this up and I'm going to extract it which will be right here so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use install the dev kit to your Ruby as well Once this is done, there's um, two commands that I know of that you need to run, and there's a dk.ruby file that will be extracted from this. You do um, ruby dk ruby init and then install. So the init to init it actually locates where your uh, ruby directory is installed. Then actually installing it will install the needed pieces to get gem and other features of Ruby going that are not with the 
core Ruby installation for Windows. And there's my DK file. My extraction is almost done. Of course, uh, if you're enjoying these videos, please comment and subscribe. I love making these kind of videos. It's kind of it's educational for me and hopefully good refreshers and good ways to teach all those new devs out there. Alrighty, it's almost done. Okay, now we're done. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I like using the command line. So let's do dev kit test. And we see here we have our dk.ruby. So let's do dk ruby in it. So now my config.yaml file is configured. And if you want to know what that is, it's this file here. And I'm just going to check to make sure that it is set up. And indeed, it is. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah. So it's Control Now Plus. So if you can see that, that's where my Ruby is installed. So my config.yaml file has been configured correctly. So now I will do this. So now it is officially installed and, and of course refresh your command line and then you can start doing um, gym installs. There is one more problem that I went that I faced. It was um, some SSL certificate error. And I think in order to resolve that you do Ruby sources.a yeah well what I'm planning to do is I can look up the exact command I'll put it in the description but the idea is this will point your Ruby to the correct uh, URL address which will contain all the the correct um, well it's more like it has like a HTTP protocol with this new URL address that way you can actually connect to it and pull in the appropriate gems so uh, thank you very much and I hope you have a great day if you have any questions please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel thank you very much bye